if you're looking for a super, super fun and easy way to earn extra money, follow me on Underdog Fantasy and use code FATDOLLARS for a deposit bonus up to 100 bucks. All you got to do is come in here, make $1 bets, $2 bets, $3 bets. It don't matter. Choose your players. Come over to the right. Put the amount in. $1 bet, you have a chance to win $3 back. I will be giving you guys free picks. Follow me on my Twitter and I will give you a Discord link and let's have some fun. What's going on everybody? In today's video, we're going to be going over all the best stub methods in MLB The Show 22. Before we get into that, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit the red subscribe button, and turn your notifications on so you can be one of the first people to be alerted whenever a new video goes out. Also, we hit 1,000 followers on Twitter, so I will be giving a giveaway. It's going to be two $25 gift cards. So make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, following me on social media, and I will let you guys know when that is going to go live. Good luck to everybody. Let's get into the breakdown. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. The number one stub method right now is Conquest or Mini Seasons. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I mean by that. Conquest and Mini Seasons give you a lot of pecs, but it's certain pecs out of this that's going to help you with a lot of stubs and value very very soon that nobody else is thinking about let's start with the prospect packs right now the value is down to about 2500 stubs to 3000 3500 stubs okay so i just won the mini seasons championship so now we're going to look at the goals in that if you play in your mini seasons okay so if we restart the mini seasons you're going to be able to get a lot of packs so every time that you win the championship you're going to be getting a bundle that bundle is going to have a lot of packs in it okay but down here where it's important that is these prospect choice packs okay so once you've played this through already and if you have you will realize you don't have to win every single game i lost eight games throughout the season and was able to just quit out of about six to seven games and still was number one team make it to the playoffs and win the championship now these prospect packs what i'm going to be doing right now that i finished the season is accumulating them so now i'm going to go in make sure that you are a top four team to make the playoffs repeatable i'm going to get that prospect pack i'm going to hold on to it i'm going to come down here 10 home runs with all-star series players set your lineup you should be able to complete this in about 12 to 15 minutes and then back out of the game if you want to get this prospect pack okay you can only do this once per season and then you have to restart the season go back in 10 home runs another prospect pack okay so this one right here another prospect pack hold on to that i'm gonna try to hold on to about 12 to 15 prospect packs i'm gonna put them in my back pocket for the next month when another collection comes out these same prospect packs are going to be very, very important. Out of these prospect packs, I think you can choose two. So if you have 10 of them or 12 of them times two, that's 24 different cards. That's going to go up to eight to 10 K stub value. You do the math. You're going to be sitting on over 125,000 stubs just from using this method that I'm telling you right now and being patient the best investment you can make right now is getting these prospect packs and holding on to them okay so now striking out 60 batters repeatable it's going to give you show packs on top of that so you're going to get a big bundle you're going to get the prospect packs you're going to get show packs now another good way to make stubs and have a chance at higher diamonds that you can hold might get boosted later on is the mystery map only three games that you have to play okay repeat this over and over and over until they take out the game so you might as well take advantage of it every day spend 30 45 minutes get this completed five packs stash them you don't have to open them right away the next day come in here complete the whole map 25 30 minutes stash the packs before you know it you're going to be having 60 to 70 
packs. Now, they did come up with this new Faces of the Franchise Central, and I just came in here and then just got the pack. So I started right here. I went all the way up to the top over here. I got a pack, and then I made my way all the way around like this, around these teams. They ended up taking them back, but come down here, get another pack, come all the way down to the socks right here. Around this area, it's another pack. You come all the way down here to the Kansas City Royals. Right around here, it's another pack. It's about five to six hidden packs on this map alone without even having to play a game, okay? So I went in there and I got a lot of packs and then I just restarted the map and then I'm gonna go through and play it because it's gonna give me XP. Not in the rush to complete the faces of the franchise, but this is a free 30,000 XP and I still have two or three packs left on this map. You might get a very good diamond, you might get a diamond that is supercharged that is going for 160 to 170 thousand stubs a lot of good ways to get stubs in mlb the show 22 make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the video way better than flipping on the market playing the game taking advantage of all the free stuff being smart and patient and investing early we do have a roster update coming up in the next week so i'm going to be giving you guys the top three to four cards to be aiming toward so you can turn around and make a lot of stubs off of them. I'll see y'all in the next video.